Hey, what's going on guys? Mike from the Retro Lectors. I haven't done a new pickup video in so long. Liar, you're a what? liar. You said you haven't done a pickup video in so long. What do you want? But yet up in the cards, it says otherwise. Yeah, but I said a new pickup video. Not just a regular pickup video, a new pickup video. It's something I haven't done in a while. Why don't you just get the hell out of here? No, you, you, you can't make me. That was a little so bit awkward. It's so cold and dark over there. But like I said, this is a new pickup video, a video that I haven't done in a while of stuff that I've picked up over the last weeks and months, stuff that I haven't been able to put on camera or stuff that I post on Instagram, a lot of the new stuff and new pickups that I do, but I don't put it on video very often. So if you guys want to check out my Instagram page, it's down below. It's with my Facebook page and a few other things that you guys can check and see some behind the scenes of you know videos or pickups or stuff like that. Back to the feature at hand. So a few of these things I've picked up are things that I've needed for the collection or something that I needed for uh, a controller because my, my Xbox controllers went to the fritz. The batteries were, weren't working out very well. So I decided on Amazon to pick up an Energizer charge pack. It's a two pack. Like I said, my controllers were on the fritz. I had a launch controller and it, it lasted the five years that I had it, but the battery was not lasting anymore, even with the play and charge kit and all that stuff was not working. So this, I have the two controllers going for my Xbox One S and it does wonders. It's easy for my kids to use because when they're done using it, they could actually put the controllers away and makes it a lot easier with the less wires kicking around for the play and charge kit. So this is just on the unit and away they go. They can just unplug and plug it back in easily. So I wanted something that was easy for them and easy for me to always have a charged controller. So this is a pretty decent deal. I think I paid $24 for it. So the next few games are games I haven't even opened yet. And one I'm gonna save to the very end and I'm so excited for it. I haven't even looked at it. So, so I don't know anything about it as far as what it looks like. But the first game is Starlink. I picked this up, I think it was at Walmart, it was like 29 bucks. And again, I haven't opened it up, so I'm gonna open that up on camera just to see what the, it's all about, what it includes. But uh, great deal for $29, what a, what a steal. I think they're discontinuing, or from what I understood, they discontinued all of the Starlink like, peripherals and all this stuff that's, you know, the ships. Selling this in the store alone, I don't see why this isn't on star shelves by itself, because from what I understand, you don't necessarily need to play this with any of the peripherals, you could play it just as a single controller. So realistically, I don't know why this is not just on store shelves as a, a standalone. But we're gonna open this right up. So I'm just gonna, and it says it needs a micro SD card. I don't know anything about it as far as what it entails, but I'm really excited to play this. And for some reason, it's, it's, it's surprising that this is like a 13 hour game. I was looking on uh, how long to beat this game on the, the website and it said 13 hours. You could probably beat it in a you know, faster time, but for me, I like to take my time with games, so well, it doesn't really come with much. Comes with a warranty card, the game, and the smell of plastic. That was a great deal for 29 bucks. It was a great steal, and I'm really happy to have that into the collection. Next up is Pokemon Eevee. Uh, I want a Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. I didn't want necessarily not want it, it just, Pikachu was a character that I cared for more, I guess you could say, with the Pokemon Yellow and all the other Pokemons when I was a first generation. Uh, Eevee was one that I would just get, just to get the other three characters, Flareon, Jolteon, and Vaporeon. Uh, it wasn't a character that I always kept in my party, mainly Pikachu was. This is still sealed. Open this up and let's smell and see what this includes as well. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. And that includes absolutely nothing. Just the game and a map, which is a pretty detailed map. I'm looking forward to actually exploring all this. I think I'm gonna play this after I beat Starlink. Uh, my kids, again, they haven't played any of it just because I, I opened it up, but um, I think I'm gonna play more of the Starlink, get that out of the way and spend a lot of hours in this. I'm really looking forward to playing all of this because I haven't played a Pokemon since I think X on 3DS and that's been like maybe two years and prior to that I don't think I've played a Pokemon since Yellow. And last but not least is a game that I'm really looking forward to playing. Right now the Cartridge Club has, well for next month, they have Shenmue 1 as a game that you could play along with the Cartridge Club and you could, you know, at the end of this whole month or next whole month of May, I'm going to be on a podcast or a video with the Cartridge Club and we're gonna be discussing the, you know, the whole take of Shenmue, the first one, and how 
you know, monumental it was and our favorite moments of the game. And I'm playing through that again now. I haven't played it in so long, probably like maybe 2000 when I ended up having it for the first time. So playing that again right now, and I never really got to play Shenmue 2. And yes, I know I can get the remake on the Xbox One or the PS4. And if I were to get the remake, it would be on the Xbox just because Shenmue 2 was on the Xbox and the Dreamcast was Shenmue 1 and Shenmue 2. So the way I see it, it goes Dreamcast, Xbox, and if Shenmue 3 does come out, hopefully it does come out for the Xbox One, I would like to get that as a whole set. You know, it's a subset, I guess you could say. Not to say that I wouldn't want it on the PS4, I just feel that a subset should be set on a certain platform. Well, anyways, with that being said, I went on Etsy and I was looking for this you know, Shenmue 2 and a North American label forever. Like I was seeing I, on Instagram, I was looking for a certain person that was making, because I knew a few people that were making them. They stopped making them. So they, they directed me to an Etsy shop and I actually grabbed it from there. So I'm gonna open it up. I have, like I said, I've yet to open this. I don't know what it looks like. I just seen the picture, so I don't know anything about it. I am looking so forward to it. And when I when I got in the mail today, I had to shoot a video just because of it. I wanted to get all this information, you know, soak this all on camera and let you guys see my reactions because it's it's a monumental game. And yes, I, like I said, I can get to the remastered versions and all that, but I think I, I want to play it on the actual hardware it was intended for. And uh, by the looks of it, this bubble wrap is intense. Oh, this is beautiful. It's custom artwork right there. Shenmue 2. Oh man, I can't wait to play this. Like I said, this is off the Etsy shop. I'm gonna put the link to their Etsy shop down below. Very detailed. The screenshots are gorgeous. You guys can see that. Screenshots are gorgeous. The case looks amazing. This looks unbelievable. From what I read about the reviews of not just repros or this person in general, I heard that there's some audio syncing issues that um, kind of takes you out of the element. The sound sounds a little bit more muffled than it should. Again, I just wanted to have this on my shelf right beside Shenmue 1 and being able to play it on the actual hardware it was intended is something that I've always wanted to do. Uh, I, like I said, I never played it on the original Xbox and uh, the original Xbox One, like I, I've yet to play it and see what the differences were, but this is, this is beautiful. I'm actually so excited to have this in my collection. With that being said, it looks like I have my work cut out for as far as gaming goes for the next little while, because when I play a game, I tend to play it as long as possible, I'm trying to sink into more games on the Switch, and I can't wait to play those two. And as far as Shenmue 2 goes and Shenmue 1, I, like I said, I can't wait to finish off Shenmue 1. I'm on the last disc and can't wait to play this and being a part of the Cartridge Club Game of the Month podcast at the end of may is something that i'm looking forward to if you guys picked up any games let me know please follow me on instagram or on facebook uh, the links are down below thanks guys